welcome back for more Tales of Vesperia. Last time we entered the Koi Woods, and Estelle got knocked out, and we learned how to make a sandwich! Yes! And uh, here we go with, is this the curse? We can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh! Could this be the curse? What should we do, Yuri? There really was a curse after all! Don't be stupid. Or, do you not have a good sense of direction? No, of course I do. I think. Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool, but I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. Good input, repeat, good input. Now, uh, you guys may have saw it in the last episode, and you may be seeing it right now in the top of the screen because I'm walking towards it, but that creature back there is uh, one of those gigantos monsters I was talking about in an earlier me uh, episode. Uh, we definitely cannot go there and take it on yet, and uh, we won't be able to for a very long time. Uh, eventually we'll go back and we'll fight it. But until then, you're just going to have to be terrified of it from a distance. There you go. Anyways, before we move on, we'll go to go on over here, open up this chest. There's a magic lens. And if we head directly south of this, there's a bush here, which, if you check, has some bread and eggs in it. So you can make a sandwich if you want. Uh... So there is uh, another save point here, and while I'm saving, I will discuss about cooking. Uh, I do not plan on doing all the cooking recipes. Uh, maybe I'll do it in a side video later on in the game, because uh, it'll take a while and I just don't want to go in depth in it right now. Uh, there is plenty of online uh, guides to doing it. Uh, basically, the more you cook with the recipe, the more you will learn. Like, if Estelle right now was to cook sandwiches a couple of times, like uh, quite a few times, she would learn how to make a rice ball, and then you can have your, you, you cook a rice ball until he learns something else, and I think, yeah, he learns a beef bowl after that from what I'm reading here on my computer screen. Uh, so basically, yeah, you just want to keep cooking with other characters with the recipes, and eventually you'd learn them all, and you can learn recipes along the way. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about the cooking. I'll show the locations of the Wonder Chefs, which is the hidden uh, cooking recipes, which uh, you can get in certain places. I'll show all of those, but I won't be going in depth and like using all the recipes to learn every single one. Uh, anyways, thanking Rapide. Rapide, when I passed out, you laid down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm, um, thanking Rapide. Repeat. He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. Oh, she's determined. Anyways, I just used that. Okay, um, moving on, finally. <laughs> uh... Oh, B, new enemy. Sorry if I hurt you! Okay, so let's go with, uh, let's use Estelle. And we get a B! Level 7, weak to fire. Pretty much everything in here is weak to fire. Okay, let's get this on. Hey, stop that! Hey, stop that! That! Hey! Stop attacking Estelle! She's only my healer! I know that's a big primary target for people, but still. Oh, those two guys went down quickly. Owned! So the bees aren't too, too bad. Ooh, level up. Cool. Okay, so there's a treasure chest here with the hard mail I was discussing and told you guys not to buy. Because now you got it. Nice little hard mail upgrade for Yuri there. And if we keep moving on ahead, we come across this guy. Well, that wasn't too bad. Anyways, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the skills. As you gain levels, you actually gain more skills. Like, uh, once Yuri and Estelle both get to level 11, or when one of them gets to level 11, uh, they will learn a skill uh, next time, I believe. From what I he look at here, he will learn the Wolf Strike next level. And uh, once that happens, I will get into that a little bit more, because there are actually skills that you can get by using two 
techniques, like using techniques a certain number of times. And uh, some of those can get really powerful. And there's one that can take the Azure Edge and the Wolf Strike. And uh, yeah, it's just, they're really handy. And I'll get more into, into that when I start learning the other techniques I need to get these. Uh, yeah, and Estelle just learns another magic skill. Yeah, okay, let's get on. That battle was just a slaughter on them. Oh man, I killed two guys at once with the uh, with Azure Str with the uh, Azure Edge. Anyways, there was a cape there. Ooh, I got boots. Let's give Repeat a cape, and then let's give. You know, what? I'm gonna give the leather boots to Estelle. Just because she would need more physical defense right now. There's a wolf. Hey, I learned something. Oh, hey, look at this. Uh, Yuri gained enough skill points to uh, learning points to learn the backstep move. So now, if we actually go into the menu here and uh, see, it says uh, skills available through equip. That's because uh, that means basically that he's mastered this technique and uh, if he has a weapon equipped with the backstep on it like he does right now you don't actually have to have this active you can leave it inactive and you can use your SP points your uh, skill points <laughs> SP points really uh, on other skills uh, so right now it's useless to equip it because it's automatically equipped but later on when I change weapons I can just set the skill up and it would be able to use it normally without having the weapon equipped and uh, halfway to Magic Guard, and still quite a ways for Item Thrower. Okay, well, moving on, I guess. Let's see what's coming up next. Oh, cutscene. Pre prepare to die, Egg Bear! Wait for it. Oh, man, that hurt. He cut his sword in half. <laughs> I, I'm warning you, I don't taste very good. You'll get the runs. Oh, my gosh, S somebody help me. Is this kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? Oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? What? Actually, oh, we're just sorry. coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halor. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? No, I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear. The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort. Oh, God, help us. See that? I've even got my own Blastia. <laughs> what? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh, yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? 
I had to give myself some kind of handicap, or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. <laughs> Yo, do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north, once you get out of the woods. Come on, guys, wait for me! Obtain monster book. Carol joined the party, yay. He's my least favorite character in this entire game. Anyways, back here, life bottle. Uh, even dogs have pride. We'll watch next time! See you guys.